Hi guys, welcome back to Coding One. Today in this video, we are going to see how to integrate a Razor Pay in a application which is developed by Angular as a front end and Spring Boot as a back end. So before starting the actual integration, I want to show how Razor Pay works and its architecture. So this is a, this first line is a, our client side. Middle one is for the back end side and the last line, which is the third one, is a for the Razor Pay. So from UI, whenever you go into checkout and click on the checkout button, we call our backend API, which will create an order ID, and that or for creating order ID, he will call a Razor API. So it finds order API of the Razor Pay, and Razor Pay return us a order ID. That order ID you can save into your database for your status purpose and then pass that order ID your, your client which is your checkout screen at an angular level. So and from angular we will call razor pay pop up window. That razor pay URL we will call and it will show you the pop up where you can select the bank ID, bank online bank net banking in that pop-up you will see net banking then scanner scanner also all type of scanner also upi also and other wallet also then when you select any of them and do the payment then that success api will return you payment id result pay order id which you have passed from this second second step and Razor Pay signature, which we'll use for the validation purpose. Capture the payment, which you can do as auto also, and you can do manual also. So capture the payment and save entry into your database. Okay, this is the simple flow of the Razor Pay implementation. Now let's start the implementing same. So second step is to create a Razor Pay account. So you have to go into Razor Pay website, log in there and create a test account. So there will be a test mode and live mode. Uh, currently I am in a live, currently I am in test mode. And if you go into settings, you will be able to see these options, configuration webhooks and API keys. Click on API keys and generate the API keys. It will create a key ID and secret ID. You will able to download that. At first time, I have downloaded that, and we are going to use that in our Spring Boot backend API, Spring Boot backend server. And yeah, this is it for our Razor Pay account. Now, next step is to create the backend server which will accept your payments and hit into our Razor Pay API and get the order ID. So our next step is to create a Spring Boot backend microservice. For that, I, we have to go into start.spring.io. It, it, it is a where you will easily set up your backend Spring Boot service. So I'm selecting a main project, Java as my language and 2.6.0. 11 as my version and group will be coding world and artifact payment gateway payment gateway okay and name i am keeping as a payment gateway so here i am using a jar as my packaging and java it as my java version we are going to expose a endpoint so here i am including spring web and all I'm keeping as it is create on generate and import this into your favorite IDE. In my case, I am opening this into our Spring Boot tool set. Here I'm going to I'm going to open executing maven. Click here. Okay, this is our payment gateway application. Currently, we don't have anything in this project apart from this payment gateway application main Spring Boot application class. Okay, now we have to add a Spring Boot dependency of the 
razor pay okay this is a dot com razor pay and version is 1.4.2 for the java once you imported this dependency just build your project and start coding for the payment gateway first of all i am going to create a one controller and in that controller itself we are creating the we are calling the order api and creating the order id from razor pay so let's create a first controller so i am pasting all my code here so it will save our time okay this is my razor pay code for that i have to import a order response and order request so guys i have copied my all code of the payment controller and it's in front of you and here i am creating one control uh, controller endpoint which is a create order and this is my request mapping starting point of our payment controller okay and i want to show you that i have created a two secret id one is for like i'm going to show you how to name how to route your payment from one razor pay account to another pay, razor pay account so what we are doing like we have created two account one is for the transaction which are less than 100 sorry 1000 and one is for the greater than 1000 so according to that we are doing the routing instead of razor pay in future we can integrate any other payment gateway also so let's uh, go step by step i have created a razor pay controller and up below that we are creating a create order and order request we what we are taking customer name customer email id phone number and amount these are my requests which i am getting from the client second is like the response which we are sending to the client in this we have a secret key razor pay order id application fee which is amount which we are sending to the order order api then secret id and the payment gateway name like is it razor pay one or razor pay two so like i am this is the main method which is creating a order and if you go here below first of all we are using this condition 100 sorry greater than 1000 or less than 1000 so according to that we are picking a result pay 1 or result pay 2 now second step is it to create a order in that result pay account so if you go here here we are passing the amount then currency type receipt and capture so you can enable this if you want to do auto capture in my case i am doing auto capture that's why i am setting as a 1 and all those options we are passing to the client razor client which we have imported here razor pay client and from that we are calling orders and create orders so this is a simple code which is like a four or five lines code uh, using that dependency and when we get the order back from that request we are getting the order id from that json json this is a json object so and that order id we are setting to the response which we need at the ui side and the amount also again we are setting as it is which we get from the request this payment gateway and secret id which we need at the client side that's why we are setting all those and returning the response right this is the sim simple endpoint which is used to create the order order and now second third and last part is a to create the create ui client using angular so guys i have created this demo project using a ng generate new and demo it will create automatically angular project this is a sample project i have not added anything apart from this order service service that i will explain you later first of all whenever we come to the project we have to inc include the script like a checkout.razorpay.com this will use to this will help us to call razor pay api now i have created a, this sample form which will take a name email and a fee that will look like this 
name, email, phone number, amount. And this code is available on my GitHub repository. So this is an NG form. Whenever you click on the submit button, in that submit button, we are calling on submit. And all submit our look like this. So we have declared reserve pay variable and that reserve pay variable we are using below. Okay. First of all, let's go to the, our order submit and in submit I am passing this form which is giving us all those four fields. Now when this is order service which is created by us and this is nothing but importing the HTTP client, HTTP headers and we are calling our backend API with the observable and this is a PG endpoint 8080 PG create order. Once we get the success response we are setting customer we are returning response to our app dot component and in our app dot component once we get the successful response we are creating the options and all those options we are setting all the keys secret secret id order id amount and name that we will able to show on our pop-up and according to pg name we are showing which reserve pay we want to call and according to that we are passing so for first reserve pay we are passing image as a java china this image i have copied from the one tutorial uh, which is present on the server so this will show and when result pay to call we are not showing anything on the success of this payment we are called i am printing all the events successful detail which will print our reserve pay signature order id and one more thing okay and on failure we are calling failure event this will show us reason and everything instead of this we can call a backend api which will update all our payment status that is that is not our scope of this tutorial so just uh, i'm printing all the logs now let's run this project and test our payment is getting captured or not so i'm running my payment gateway okay application has been started now let's fill this detail coding word email let's ddjm gmail.com phone number 9999 and amount 51500 okay 15k and if i click on the pay we are getting a pause okay so first of all we have to enable the pause in our spring boot application let's do that okay so i have added this component for our course issue web web msc configure now where i am adding the mapping is star all origin as a star all and allow method as a star all let's rerun this application and test application has been started let's click on this pay and we are getting successful response okay which is our reserve pay id secret id and key now according to our logic it is redirect, redirecting to our payment one all this mobile number email everything is coming it will look like this if you click on proceed let's give a valid phone number 915 okay let's proceed and it is providing us all the available option your net banking wallet pay letter upi card then upi phone pay upi gpay and you all everything like 
or whatever the options are available those options we are getting here now create on phone pay it is showing us a QR code if you click on this QR code it start loading and payment will happen automatically if you click on this and this payment has been happened now according to our amount it is going to our uh, it is going to our razor pay 2 now let's reduce this amount and give as a 130 and click on pay so now you are not able to see this icon here that means it we are able to navigate this into our our reserve pay first now if you click on proceed you will able to see the payment option if i click on this show it will automatically capture this payment has been automatically captured because we are passing as a one and all those payments you will able to see here at home if you go down all these payment will duplicate here okay 130 few seconds ago which is a capture and this is a, all this payment statement and everything so guys this is it like how to you integrate a reserve pay in angular and spring boot application this is a simple uh, tutorial which will cover all payment gateway from top to bottom okay end to end if you guys this is it like uh, okay if you like this video please share with your friends and please do subscribe my channel it will motivate me to do more technical video thank you